Welcome to the 53rd edition of Make Pro Wrestling Majestic Again. I am Tiger High, and no, we do not know who is uh, the interim champion currently. Right. So, so yes. He's peanut gallery, by the way. Yes, he is peanut <laughs> yeah. gallery. Uh, let's talk about Rebellion. Yeah. Overall, I did like this show. It was show. a good show. It was a very good show. They, they, were, they mastered the pacing of those matches. They really did, and that's one thing we're going to really talk about a lot is the pacing of a lot of the matches, including our first match, which was originally scheduled on the main card, but because Jonathan Gresham is hurt, he couldn't make it. So I couldn't update the picture. I couldn't find it. But it was Eddie Edwards taking on Chris Bay instead. And even with the out-of-nowhere thing, it was a good match. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, the one thing, and I think a lot of people actually agreed with me, is that Eddie Edwards is mediocre at best as a wrestler. Chris Bay, I think, really drove that good match home yeah. and it's just like okay that's why he's that well they they pair eddie edwards really well with some really well-rounded wrestlers which kind of masks his mediocrity as an athlete right but um it was it was good it was it was very much carried by chris bay though oh absolutely um i'm very happy that they did this i'm sure jonathan gresham will have a match against eddie edwards when he returns but you know yeah at some point when you when you work the amount that gresham was doing you're gonna get hurt yeah and at the end of the day it was the diehard driver for eddie edwards to win i was actually surprised surprised about that. I wonder if he was originally going to be the winner against Gresham. Yeah. Which would have been, once again, very strange. But overall, um, I'll give it a full thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. All right, Peanut Gallery, let's make this majestic again, starting with a match that I would not change in any way, shape, or form. The rivalry was great. I liked how they incorporated um, the wife, who's also a wrestler, and took a Musa spear, and also they incorporated it in a different promotion. Yep. That was great. All right, let's move on. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. When 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 it's a great thing, you don't have to do anything. This one okay. should have this one should have been switched time-wise and placement on the card with uh Taya Valkyrie and Deonna yep, Peraza. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. But also what I would do with this given the same circumstances is I would have Rosemary in some singles matches yeah. to get her back into of how good she is because she was not wrestling right. at all. I've watched I watch Impact every single week, people. She did not wrestle between the Battle Royal when she won this opportunity to actually wrestling in the match. Right. Have her in some singles matches. Right. Have her face Savannah Evans. Right. Um and all of it was backstage. It's like, okay, the champion doesn't technically have to wrestle. She's the champion. But you need to showcase Rosemary right. as the legitimate singles competitor that, that she is. Right. And they did not do that. Yeah. It was a huge wasted opportunity um, by Scott Demore. A very rare miss. Mm -hmm. This was totally useless. This and was I'm, a clusterfuck, man. Yep. It, the story, there was no storyline to it. Right. Literally, this was the last match announced for this card, yeah. and it deserves so much better. Yeah, it does. And and given the history with Heath and Rhino in this in this trio, um, it would have been it would have been a perfect opportunity to have a one on or a two on two tag team match with them, with maybe some weapons. Yeah, I think that would have been a much better use of time and energy mm -hmm. than this. Eight man bullshit because now they have to pay all these guys for pay per view. Right. And it's like it's not necessary. Right, and then if you want to add another tag team match in there, which I would highly recommend, do uh, major players W. Morsey, Jordan Grace? Yeah, exactly. That's, if, that's if you, the only other one that makes sense to me. Yeah, the rest of them, it didn't make any sense to me to have any of these other teams no. in this match whatsoever. This was stupid by all means. I would have, I would have done what you did. Mm -hmm. Have two different tag team matches that had rivalries. Mm -hmm. Probably would have been a better use of everybody's time. It I wouldn't have done anything different because this it was, was, just, it was it was a match. This this was. was this was a vanity match. Mm -hmm, That's all it was. Um, I think the um, they tried to get the magic with Jonah and PCO again, but it's like they actually had a rivalry. So, right. what the fuck can you do? And to be honest with you, I think bringing in I would have I would have rather had uh, PCO versus Jonah in this over Ishii. Right. I would have had Ishii in maybe some more competitive matches. Yeah. On this, maybe mention Ishii at Rebellion when he was wrestling on Rampage, a much right. larger audience. Right. 
I don't understand why they did not take advantage of that fact, right. but they just didn't. Right. And the thing is, is if Jonah is leaving, I mean, we thought he was leaving a couple of months ago and yeah. he didn't. Yeah, they extended the contract, but I only think they extended it this pay-per-view. So, oh, really? Unless, unless they've negotiated a new contract, which I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything either, but, you know, we I are— I guess we'll see. I, I guess so. I don't know. But this was just—it was a wasted opportunity for something that could have been yeah. magical, yep. and they just didn't do it. I, I would I wouldn't have done anything different with no, this match. I, we all know what the real rivalry is is Mike Bailey and Ace Austin, and they just need to get the belt on one of those two. Right, and I'm hoping Trey Miguel is not leaving or anything. I'm hoping he's maybe even advancing into um, a different position on the card, mm -hmm. maybe even main event, because he's just one of their most consistent workers. Yeah, he really elevated this championship. Uh, a lot of fun overall, and I, I just don't like that Ace Austin is with the X Division at this point. I guess because Mike Bailey. Yeah, I no, can, Ace Austin, Mike Bailey, perfect rivalry right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I don't think bringing the X Division champion into this is necessary oh, personally. The, you know, I think it's good. This, once again, we already said that there was a placement difference. This felt more like a world title match than the actual Knockouts world title it match. Um, the rivalry... Harkening back to the rivalry past mm -hmm. was awesome. The match itself was constructed really well. Mm -hmm. And this is where this Taya is Valkyrie where... did not have to wrestle to put over what's going to happen here. Right. You know why? Because Taya Valkyrie's been wrestling as a singles. Right. She wrestled in Triple A. And Deanna Perrazzo, she's been she's consistently very... defending right. these champions. Um, now she's not the champ champ, but now what are you going to be doing with the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion? Oh, they'll probably, she'll probably end up going to uh, fucking, um, uh, do you think, uh, do you AEW think, do you and, think, you think she'll be signing with them? Deanna Perrazzo signing with AEW? Yeah. I don't see that happening. I don't see it either. I think she's going to lose she's, that. So she'll drop it to an AEW person. Yeah, because they just, they cannot do something with Deanna. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing, but, right. you know. I drop it to Ty Conti. <laughs> don't get me started. Sammy Guevara blocked me, by the way. He didn't like me when I posted him proposing to his ex. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you were fucking Conti right after that, too. And then he blocked me. <laughs> I might have deserved it. Um, the rivalry going into it was good. The match itself was good. The winner was right. Also, um, I think Chris Sabin was the one who was pinned. Yes. And I that's good because Jay White would have been hurt by Steve Macklin winning mm -hmm. more than Sabin. Sabin is a veteran. Right. Jay White. And honestly, I think Chris Saban is kind of moving into the tag team division again, which is fine. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's, that's totally fine. This is a good um, this Steve, is a good wrap Steve up. Steve Macklin is uh, Steve Macklin's moving on to bigger and better things. Hopefully, maybe even going after. Well, you see, this is where. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have said the X division because he already went for the X division champion yeah, a handful of him, times. Yeah, just put him into uh, you know a world title picture or something along those lines. This is what happens when you don't have. Because the X Division champion is their technical secondary, and me talking about the um, you know the television champion, this is kind of that situation where they have a roster that's diverse enough to where it's sort of a crime to not have another secondary. Right. But you know it is what it is. Um, it is. There we go. I wouldn't have done anything different though. Yeah. You see, this is what happens when the show is really good and the rivalries yep. are built okay. Really, really, really good ending to this rivalry. At least I hope it is. <laughs> I, I hope so too. But the problem now is, what other team can go for this belt? Rosemary and um, uh, Havoc again? No, well, there, there are other. I'm sure that they them, will them, find other tag teams to go after this title. Now, I could see tag teams coming in, maybe, maybe with some NWA stuff, maybe with some AEW women stuff. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of women that are out there that Impact's working with that can go for these titles. Mm -hmm. I didn't like them bringing back these champions. I was kind of concerned. They're, they're doing fine with it, mm -hmm. but what now? Well, and you never know. I don't even have a fucking thing. I don't like NWA bringing back the women's tag team champions. Well, NWA works with a lot more independent wrestlers. That's than. true. So that makes sense. But Impact Wrestling doesn't. They work with AEW, and AEW already has two women's champions. But you never know. You never know. Um, uh, this, this this match was changed, obviously, but the rivalry was... the rivalry going into it was fine because obviously you have the Ring of Honor World Champion mm -hmm. who was not joining Honor no more. Right. Thank God he didn't because that whole faction is a non whatever anyway. Mm -hmm. Although and Eddie Edwards didn't need this heel turn, I think he did. It helped him 
character wise. Oh, absolutely. He was he was kind of dead in the water as a baby face yeah. and him as a heel, he works much better as a heel anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. So there we go. That's it. Uh, what are we doing next week? We are doing. Uh, we're, we're doing. We're doing a double trouble here um, on two different sides of the fucking globe. We have uh, the first of three uh, triple manias mm -hmm. in Monterey. So we'll be covering that. That's Maybe, on... no. There was already a triple mania, wasn't there? No, no there... that was that was triple mania regia. Yeah, that was triple mania regia. Um, so there, there is that one. So we'll be watching that on Saturday, and then we also have wrestling don't mm -hmm. on the first. So we will have a double trouble on that, and um, we'll do our wrestling heckling, all the fun stuff. Yep. So if you did enjoy this, if you did enjoy this video sentence, remember to like, subscribe, follow, uh, check out the link tree QR code right there, this area, and as always, be majestic.